Hello, Tim from Fair Play Now on the 17th of March 2023. So it's St. Patrick's Day. So happy St. Patrick's Day to all of my Irish contingent. I know there's quite a lot of viewers from there. So uh, nice to uh, talk to you and hope you have a great day. I've really got to get myself to Ireland at some stage. Only ever been to once to Dublin for a long weekend, best part of 30 years ago. So it's high time I get back there at some stage and maybe uh, spend a bit longer there and uh, tour around a bit more of the country as well. But that's not what I want to talk about here today. I saw a very interesting video this morning and it was from an Australian lady, not sure who she is. And I'll see if I can put the video on here. It's uh, not on this platform. It's a bit shoot video, but I'll see if I can put a link to it uh, in the description box below. But what this lady was talking about, you know how we are starting to get a lot of, uh, sort of animosity and hatred against the government, uh, not just from the likes of us, of course, but also from many normies who are now suffering from all of the measures these governments have been doing. Uh, everything from, you know, the cost of living crisis to, uh, you know, sort of uh, rising interest rates and uh, uh, sort of food concerns, energy concerns and all of the rest of it. So there's a lot of animosity against the government. I see there's quite a lot of protesting going on in France at the moment where they're raising the uh, pensionable age up from 62 to 64 and there's a lot of discontent there. And we, of course, think this is a good thing. All of this pushback against these governments are a really good thing. And this lady was kind of saying that, but she was also saying that it might be a bad thing because after all, we know that the globalists, the powers that shouldn't be, their ultimate aim, uh, as well as the New World Order, is one world government. And as this lady was saying, what is the one thing that is standing in the way of that? Well, of course, it's national governments, isn't it? So they'd love nothing better than for national governments to be totally discredited, for them to be attacked and even torn down. And then that would give them the space or the opportunity to step in and take things over and to take us towards new world order and to one world government. So she was saying that we need to be very aware of this and that it could all be part of the agenda and here we are uh, the likes of you and me kind of cheering it on a lot of the time so I thought it was a very interesting point I don't know what you think of it what you make of it but yeah are we just sort of being played here and I think the point she was trying to make is it's not the government and you know, the institution of governments and the various other national institutions that we need to be uh, angry at or sort of uh, you know, discontented with. It's the globalists and their infiltration of our kind of government institutions. And we need to be highlighting that perhaps our role should be not uh, kind of calling out governments but just calling out the globalist players in the governments you know these infiltrators who are sort of trying to wreck the system from within by being as bad as they can by appearing so incompetent that people get very very you know really really angry coming out with all of these uh, very unpopular policy so that people get very very angry and want to tear the system down so that is kind of the distinction 
she was making. Don't be angry at the institution of government. Be angry at the globalists, the powers that shouldn't be, and you know, their infiltration into our sort of national um, sort of governmental institutions. So I thought it was a really, really good point. And I think what we need to avoid at all costs is this move towards a one world government. Um, it would be such bad news on several levels. First of all, uh, you know, a one world government with its headquarters, wherever, probably somewhere very far away from you, is, uh, you know, they've got no idea what's going on on the ground in your area or my area. They're imp they'll be imposing things from afar, uh, you know, with absolutely no regard for or idea about, uh, you know, what's going on in your local community. So just from that factor alone, it's very bad news. You're much better having much more decentralised governmental systems, uh, which are sort of, uh, you know, much closer to where you are and what your community is going through. So it's bad news on that front, but it's also bad news, of course. Well, it's all Book of Revelation stuff, isn't it? Uh, you know, it goes on in that, how, uh, you know, all of these powers that shouldn't be want a one world government. It mentions it in that uh, book and it goes on about how that is a prerequisite for uh, the Antichrist. So on that level, it is bad news as well. From a spiritual point of view, it's bad news. So we need to be on the lookout for this. Uh, I think uh, New World Order, if you hear that phrase, very bad news. And One World Government or any kind of move towards a One World Government is very bad news and yeah uh maybe as this lady was saying we should perhaps you know think twice before uh you know kind of tearing down our national governments and uh structures and instead sort of root out these powers that shouldn't be these globalists who have infiltrated these institutions and get rid of them, get them out of uh, uh, positions of power instead. I did sort of say a few weeks ago how voting for independent candidates, both in local elections and in national uh, elections, may well be uh, the way forward. But what the way forward most certainly isn't is any move towards one world government. So... With that said, I'm gonna leave it. I'll leave a link to that uh, video in the description box below. Hopefully I can do that without it disappearing or anything like that. Um, and it's quite innocuous, so I don't know why uh, she didn't put it on this uh, platform, because uh, it's nothing that's gonna get taken down, I wouldn't have thought. But anyway, th there it is. Hopefully it'll be there for you. And I'll be back soon. Tim from Fairplay Now, thanks for watching.